uh, I would say perfection. She knew what she liked and I knew what she liked. In the first picture I did with her, she played a very rich, self-indulgent Philadelphia society woman, not Tate at all. And uh, I went to meet her and she said, why do I have to meet Noel Taylor? I've never worked with him before. And George Schaefer said, but I think you'd like him. And she said, don't have him come. And George called me long distance. And he said, Tate just doesn't want to meet you, Noel. I don't know what to do about it. And I said, well, I know what to do about it. I'll come east. You don't have to pay me. I'll come east. And I'll meet her. She doesn't like me. That's fine, isn't it? And George said, well, I don't know whether she'll meet you. So I flew east, and I called Julie Harris as I was waiting to go to Kate's. And I said, Julie, she said she doesn't want to meet me. What do you think? And she said, no, well, go. She'll love you. So that gave me courage, and I walked down at the point at 12 o'clock hour with a lot of things, I'd sketches, and a couple of special kinds of a garment I thought she'd like, and with a big suitcase, heavy. And I went to her house, and Nora answered the door, her maid, who is my dear friend now, I still write to her, and uh, Nora let me in, and she yelled upstairs, Miss Hepburn? It's Mr. Taylor. Send him up. So I took this luggage. Her staircase was quite narrow. And I lugged this heavy suitcase behind me because I couldn't make it sideways. Upon which she looked from upstairs and said, Are you carrying that heavy thing? Here, let me. And she ran down the stairs with her new mended ankle. And she helped me up. We both carried it up the rest of the stairs. And she said, what's all that? And I said, oh, I had sketch of things I wanted to show you. I don't think you'll know anything about me till you see what I do. And she sort of melted a little bit. And, well, open it up. So I opened it up, and I showed her some sketches. And she said, hmm? Hmm. Now, what are these? These are sweaters. And I said, yeah, I thought they were individual. They just come out in Hollywood, and they're marvelous. Try one on. She put in, put on the sweater. And then she called down and to her live-in companion, and she said, uh, Phyllis, come up. So Phyllis came up. She said, this little old English lady who was adorable, she said, what do you think? Oh, that's lovely, Miss Hepburn. I think so, too. What's the other one? Try it on. She tried it on. What do you think, Phyllis? Wonderful. Well, the sweaters are all right. And it, I've showed her some swatches of fabric and, and the sketches and all. And she melted completely. And at the end of the show, George Schaefer came and he said, you know, every time I had trouble with Kate, I'd say, well, I introduced you to Noel Taylor, didn't I? Right, I'll do what you say. Oh, that's great. <laughs> and she said, when she came out in the costume, she would say, what about this? Isn't this wonderful? And she wrote me a beautiful letter, if you want to read it. I'll show it to you afterwards when we opened the uh, show, uh, uh, when we finished the dress rehearsal. Or the, I took everything up. I didn't know, I only fitted her uh, uh, once, really, because uh, she didn't like to be bothered. What was, she, her, what was her taste in clothes? Simple. But I couldn't make her simple in this particular production. She was a very fabulously rich woman who fell in love with a doctor who just saved her life. And the family, the whole thing is about the family who try to break up the love affair with this nice Jewish doctor. There was this great lady, and uh, she dressed like a great lady.
What were some of the other projects you worked on with Hepburn? All the rest of her things she went until she lost her memory. All of them, there were six, uh, five. And I, uh, she did them on the understanding that I would do the clothes. And I insisted on making everything here in America, including hers, the second woman, and the leading man, and all the clothes, clothes, everything from American shops, because I would not kowtow to outsourcing the jobs to Canada. And they accepted it because of Kate. When you did the last show, One Christmas, uh, did you know that this would be her last uh, um, uh, movie? Yeah. I didn't know we were going to get through that. I didn't know we were going to get through the f fourth one. Mm -hmm. But I was with her all the time, and we, she became my best friend. Did you design things special, knowing that this, this could be the last one? Everything was special. And uh, the last two, she didn't try the clothes on. She held I said, hold it up, no, and I hold it up, and she said, yeah, that's wonderful. One coat, I thought I had made her a coat for an earlier show, and uh, it cuts the scene. So I made her a copy of the coat in a dressing gown because I liked the pattern. She loved the dressing gown and bought it. So t two shows later, uh, there was the coat. It hadn't been used. So she said, what the hell coat am I going to wear? And she said, well, I have this, Miss Hepburn. And she put it on and said, well, this is great. She went on and wore it, having never tried it on. That was our relationship.